Okay, hello, this is Dr. James, and today I'm going to talk about an interesting topic. It's uh, psychotronics, which is the name given to it by a researcher, uh, Pavlida. And there's a lot of other people that have researched this energy. And uh, this is their uh, telekinesis motor, or psychotronic motor. And it's basically a little stand I made out of toothpicks. It has a needle here. And this is a aluminum piece of aluminum I cut in a square and kind of folded it and it balances on that pin and uh, what it does is that if you bring your hand close to it and you concentrate and relax there's an energy flow that will come out of your hand and cause the wheel to spin and uh, I found that anyone can do it the more you practice the better you get at it now I know uh, skeptics out there will deny their own existence if they, uh, you know, their their skeptics are more of a political agenda than a, a scientific thing, and they'll say, well, this is uh, convection, but you should know that convection relies on heavier air and lighter air, and it flows up and down. There's actually no wind currents in this room. This is caused by an energy that comes out of your your palms here. And uh, I'm covering my mouth so I'm not breathing on it. But you can actually use this energy in attraction or repulsion. <clears throat> excuse me I breathe on it so it's one of those things where the more you practice it the better you get at it and uh, this device actually if we want to alleviate the wind currents we can uh, let's take a look back here it's much harder to do it with this and actually someone told me if you use baby oil it helps the energy penetrate the uh, glass easier so let's wait for it to stop and so we have our psychotronic rotor inside of a, uh, a coke glass it's closed on the top I don't know if you can see that let's take a look here Okay, there it is. And uh, <clears throat> I don't have the baby oil because I couldn't find it, but it makes it a lot easier to make this thing turn. But if you practice it enough, you can turn it through glass. And this energy will interact with different materials differently. The uh, energy can be absorbed in materials and it can uh, penetrate materials differently. Glass is okay. Some forms of plastic, it's almost impenetrable. Uh, I, w I want you, let me put the camera down. We'll take a look at this thing. So, this is a new form of energy I've been able to. I've been doing experiments with her for quite a while and it is not electromagnetic energy it is not heat, it is not wind currents it is something completely different it's an energy that interacts with the mind and uh, let me concentrate for a second see if I can get this thing to spin
Okay, I don't know if you can see it turned a little bit there. But you'll get tired after a while, and it'll be hard to do it. So there can be no wind currents in the glass, and it did turn. So this energy is associated with life and living things. It comes from living things. It seems to flow out of living things, out into the environment. It can, can be controlled by the mind. It can be absorbed by materials and uh, interact with them physically and change their properties. Uh, <coughs> It is not currently recognized by orthodox science, but I can tell you that the uh, DIA, Defense uh, Intelligence Agency, is very interested in this. They wrote a whole, whole article about it, about how they would like to weaponize it. Uh, Pavlita was using it not only to cause things to grow, like plants, but also kill things like flies. It has a plus and a minus, or a positive and a negative aspect to it. As far as I can tell, it behaves like a fluid. There's many researchers that have done research in this, including to uh, Reichenbach, Reich, uh, Pavlita, his daughter, and many others. The energy is real, and it represents a new science which is being currently suppressed, as far as I can tell. Of course, there's a lot of... Um, there's a lot of charlatans out there, a lot of misinformation to cover up what's really going on, but I, I've been able to uh, verify that this energy is distinct from uh, electromagnetic energy or other forms of energy. Okay, it looks like I'm able to get it to turn without the baby oil. And there can be no convection in there. It's a closed system, and convection goes up and down, not around in circles. And I've done this also with uh, shielded cylinders, shielded with, with metal, so it cannot be electromagnetic forces as well. Nor is there anything in my hand or around here that could generate such an electromagnetic force. This is a, a truly a new form of energy and it's associated with life and it represents a new field of science and uh, unfortunately it's been suppressed uh, due to uh, taboo. You know, someone said that uh, science makes advances one death at a time because uh, old scientists hang on to their, uh, their dogmas and they refuse to learn anything new. But this is a very, very important field of science upcoming. This is the future of science. Psychotronics. Okay, this is Dr. James, and thanks for watching.